Hi and welcome to our video series in which we are looking at the new features of Grasshopper within the new and shipping version of Rhino 6. You will see a list of the features we are going to explore here. And in this short video, we are going to look at Symbol Display. There's three components, new components for the Symbol Display that we can find inside Display and the drop-down menu preview. The last components here are the ones um, in discussion. So there is two options to create a symbol, an advanced component and a simple component. We're going to talk about both of them in this video. However, to be able to show these um, component op these options of um, displaying symbols, we will need the third component which is called symbol display. Inside symbol display it asks for two inputs the display which will come from either the simple or advanced um, sim symbol uh, components and the location of uh, the symbol that you want to create. That should be a point and it can be any point inside your geometry or file. So I'm going just to take the center of this polygon here. So I'm going to create a curve component set one curve and then take the area of it and the center the location this is not enough for you to see um, the component displayed so you have to connect one of these two components if we are to start with the simple uh, symbol display I'm going to connect this one like that and I'll see um, a symbol uh, here showing by default. I can see that there is few options that I can change, a um, few inputs that I can change to have um, different adjustments on this uh, symbol. Uh, there are style, so if I right click on style I will see a list of options of styles for um, this symbol like an arrow or a circle with a cross or a heart or square and open square and so on and so forth. You can also adjust the size of it by setting just a different number say 18. You will also notice that when you zoom in and out that the size of the symbol will adjust automatically with the view port that you are looking at. You will also see the rotation option will allows you to create so if you are to prefer to set on degrees and then you just have to set a number for the number of degrees that you want to change so if I have 45 that will change the rotation of the symbol and finally the color you can set the color easily from here and the color will change straight away few more options are available in the advanced components so if I am to connect the advanced component I can see the inputs here are a bit more than the ones there so I can change the style just like the first one, the simple one, the same list um, and then I can have two size options one's called the primary size and one's called the secondary the primary one, if we are to change the number from 20 to 30 you will we will see that there was a, a change of the overall size of um, the symbol but the secondary one only changes um, so if we are to change this to 50 uh, the distance between um, the, the symbol and uh, the point uh, or the location you can say so if I am to set a parameter for that I can see that's changing the distance between the symbol and the location the rotation is exactly the same as the rotation we have here we can set it also by degrees and have it on in this case let's say 270 and we have two color options rather than one that we have in the simple component so we have an option to change the filling color and we have the option to change the edge color as well by right clicking on this and changing the color um, the width here we can also change that 
to see how thick um, the edge that we just adjusted this color is so we can make it thicker or thinner uh, and so on and finally there's a toggle here it's called adjust so if I created a boolean toggle and connected it to here that will disable or enable the ability for the symbol to change its size while you zoom in and out in the viewport that's all about the symbol display for now I hope that this video was helpful and thank you for watching